Okay, so I said this would be the last Lego Mario review to take place here, but I've kind of moved my whole studio here. So, um, more Lego Mario reviews, yay! Uh, 71397, Lab and Poltergust. This is from the Luigi's Mansion sub-theme. This set comes with three bags and a useless instruction manual. This one has more pages now because there's a one, there's a page for non-Luigi's Mansion sets and a page for the Luigi's Mansion sets, of which there are three. Uh, I almost bought this one. I lost the auction. Uh, I might be able to do a review of it someday, but for now, it's not going to happen. So here's the set all combined. Uh, now, visually, this is one of the larger looking sets in the $20 range, along with Bonsai Bill and I, I'd say Womp's Fortress, compared to like Fuzzy Flippers, which is very small in size. But in value, let's find out. So, I've got Luigi here, and I've already removed his trousers, so we can try on the Poltergust. Move his hands down. Unclip the vacuum. Pick Luigi up. And he's gonna grab hold of that little peg in the Poltergust. should really buy a camera stand. Um, okay, so now he's got the vacuum in his hands. And there's a little, there's a little peg on the trousers. That's because, it, if you never play the Luigi's Mansion, he sucks up the ghosts. Because the ghosts are spooky, and he'd be very scared if he didn't suck them up. Thankfully, this set comes with a little ghost. Um, why are the ghosts in Luigi's Mansion like this? Why are they so goofy Ah. Um, anyways, let's suck it up. Uh. So you can't just hold down this button while jumping on the enemy. This set also comes with the Professor E. Gad. And he's adorable. A little background elements, potions, tools... Um, one little ground elements. This is where the ghost stands. And then there's this little coin thing where you go. And this comes with a start icon, so let's try it on actual Luigi's Mansion level. Uh, so that's the entire set. I would think it's worth it if you're collecting the Luigi's Mansion sets. If you're just in the Mario sets, skip this one. There's no really Mario element. But if you're a Luigi's Mansion fan, I picked this one up. It has the Poltergeist. It's got it's got EGAD. It's perfect. But I feel it's too different from the other uh, regular Mario sets. Like they have to be separate. That's why they have separate instructions. If they were together, they'd just be one page. But no, they have like oh, these are the happy, cheerful, bright Mario sets. And then here are the darker, more uh, gloomier Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion sets. Um, so I do think this set is good if you're collecting Luigi's Mansion, but if you're just collecting regular Mario sets, I'd say skip this one and the rest of the Luigi's Mansion line. Or don't skip this one at all. It has e gad means win-win. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>